It's an event that brought a lot of business, 4x4s, and controversy to Daytona Beach. We're talking about truck meet. Yeah, the event's organizers say they're leaving the city in the rear view. Fox 35's Christy Kern spoke with some who say truck meet's cons outweighed the pros. They come in town, they got these big old trucks with tons of money in them and just trash the place. Residents and leaders on Daytona Beach say the truck meet has been causing issues for years. John Ford says he has mixed feelings about seeing the event go. We need the revenue, but then again, they trash the place. Organizers announced on truck meet social media pages that the events will no longer be held in Daytona due to quote circumstances that are out of their control. We push for more information, but an organizer told Fox 35 they could not elaborate on what those circumstances are. The post says organizers are in the process of finalizing a new venue for 2022 and hope to announce the dates and locations soon. Daytona police wouldn't comment, but Chief Jakari Young has been outspoken in the past about the chaos from the event. I literally canceled days off for the entire police department. So it wasn't just patrol, it was the detectives, it was the school resource officers, everybody was called in. And that comes with a hefty price tag. Earlier this year, the police department spent more than $170,000 in overtime to bring in officers during the event between fights, shootings, and reckless driving. The mayor has also said he would not like to see the event back, but businesses have told us in the past they welcome the crowds when they were struggling during the pandemic. It means my employees get to put food on the table for their families. John Ford says while he knows businesses will lose out on the money from the event, he believes other events can fill that void without the ruckus. I mean, you don't see that from the bikers. You don't see that from the, the turkey run guys or any of that other stuff or the NASCAR guys. Christy Kern, Fox 35 News.